Hi and welcome to Easy Tutoring. Today we're going to cover how to do long polynomial division with 0x. Now, in order for me to teach you this, I would prefer that you guys are already familiar with long polynomial division, as this is just one more step to long polynomial division. Be sure to check out my video on that if you haven't seen it yet. But anyways, now into this problem, what does it mean to do long polynomial division with 0x? So you see in this polynomial, it goes from x to the fifth to x to the third to x. It doesn't go 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. It goes 5, 3, 1. See, that's a problem right there. We want it to go down in a good order. We want it to go 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. That is the only way you can do long polynomial division. So in a case where it doesn't go down in that nice order, what you want to do is you want to actually rewrite it. So here's what I mean. We're going to take this polynomial. We're going to write x to the fifth. Now there is no x to the fourth. However, I can add it in there by saying 0x to the fourth. This is the same thing as saying 0, but at least now we have x to the fourth there. All right, and then we have minus 7x cubed. Now we have no x squared, so I'm going to say plus 0x squared, plus x, plus 1, and now we can begin our division. So like I said, I'm going to assume you guys already know how to do long polynomial division. We follow DMSB, we divide, we see that x goes in here, x to the fourth amount of times, so we put x to the fourth there. Then we go ahead and we multiply x to the fourth into all that, and we get x to the fifth plus 3x to the fourth. Go ahead and subtract all of that. These cancel, then we get zero minus three, it's negative three x to the fourth. I know I'm going fast, like I said, I mainly wanted to focus on the zero x part in this question. Then we bring down minus seven x cubed. So even though we added that zero x to the fourth, you can see we're still getting x to the fourth terms, which is why it was so important to add that in there. If we did not add that in here, then we would have nothing, um, no like terms to combine with this one. All right, um, next up we loop back to D and we know that X goes in here minus three X cubed amount of times. Multiply all that, negative nine X cubed and then we wanna subtract all this, that cancels uh, two minus is turned into a plus, so we have negative seven plus nine, that is two x cubed. Bring down the zero x squared. Start all over with d. x goes in here, two x squared amount of times. Go ahead and multiply all that, we get two x cubed plus six x squared. Subtract all of this, and now you can see how the zero comes in so handy again because we do 0x squared minus 6x squared which gives us negative 6x squared. Really, really important to add in those 0x's. Bring down plus x, start all over, x goes in here, negative 6x times, multiply all that, minus 18x, subtract all this, we get 19x, Bring down the one, divide this, plus 19, and we get uh, plus 19x, and that times three is what, 57? Subtract all this, and we get negative 56, where we have a remainder of negative 56. Uh, if you'd like to know how to write your remainder, you simply take the remainder, negative 56, and you put it over whatever you were dividing by, which is x plus three. So if we want, we could actually add on over here, plus negative 56 over x plus three, and that would be your entire answer right over there. So that is how you do long polynomial division with zero x. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you guys ever want ACT or SAT help, be sure to visit my website, www.e-ztutoring.com. Thank you guys and have a good day.